चलो गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन एंड वेरी वॉम वेलकम टू रॉयल एनफील्ड वी आर डिलाइटेड टू हैव यू ऑल हियर एंड टू बी द फर्स्ट एट आइकमा दिस ईयर एज यू ऑल नो रॉयल एनफील्ड हैज बिन अराउंड फॉर अ वेरी लॉन्ग टाइम वी बिन मेकिंग मोटरसाइकल्स फॉर ओवर हंड्रेड एंड ट्वेंटी वन ईयर्स एंड वी इंटेंड टू मेक मोटरसाइकल्स फॉर another 121 years and beyond so that gives us the unique position to be very long term in our thinking and and that long term thinking comes around in in our way of making motorcycles as you know we tread a very different path we do things very differently at royal enfield and that's because we have a different world view of how motorcycles should be and and that also how we think about motorcycles is not typical it's not other motorcycle manufacturers who look at competition a lot we don't do that we look at we ride ourselves all of us we enjoy riding we understand the pain and the pleasure and the joy of motorcycling and and we ride with our customers we we observe them we see them and that's what informs us in in making our motorcycles at Royal Enfield and hopefully you get a sense of that you get a taste of that in the motorcycles that we make and Royal Enfield has a actually a rich history in cruisers as well in in Royal Enfield UK in the 1950s we were making cruisers in modern day Indian Royal Enfield there was first the city bike and uh after that was the lightning this is the lightning 535 cc that's the one when i was 16 years old i got i was like oh my god this is gorgeous and i used to love this and we've come a long way after that we had the thunderbird in 2002 and we had more iterations of the thunderbird with different engines and others in 2009 here you go and 2 years ago we had a full new cruiser the meteor 350 which has been an astounding success in around the world in india in europe and everywhere in the world in fact a european colleagues who are here they told us oh 350 won't sell in in europe that well but we knew that it's such an amazing motorcycle that it will sell but always behind that idea was that we will have a bigger brother to the meteor and that's what brings us here today and over to govind to tell you a little bit about that 2018 we actually launched the twin cylinder 650 cc as a platform when we were conceiving the platform at that point of time we thought as a team that this should be a platform which will be a versatile one which will itself render for various expressions of the motorcycles like a cafe racer a cruiser and a roadster uh after the rigorous testing with fine tuning we came out with the gorgeous looking continental gt and interceptor 650 across the globe when we launched the consumers really loved it and we were very happy to bring these sort of motorcycles into the motorcycling world when we launched the what next into this on when we finished the cafe racer and the interceptor 650 what next in the platform is the cruiser mark will talk about it that so when we started thinking about a cruiser we started with saying well, what is a cruiser what does a cruiser mean so for us that's and, and i think for everybody that rides cruisers it, it means getting on a bike and looking out to the horizon looking out to the vanishing point looking across a you know a massive vista and thinking i want to ride there you know i've not got a plan but over there looks great i'm going to get on the bike and i'm just going to go and it's that sat down in that that feet forward hands up relaxed riding position and just letting the world go past you letting the the scenery move through you moving through the landscape feeling the heat and the light change and and that's really the very essence the kind of the archetype of a cruiser and so when we started out that was exactly what we were looking to try and create it was a product that that captured that feeling of of free movement and spirit of of being able to go out and, and see the world and and just endlessly Munch through the miles and, and watch the world change around you. Um, so we've got a short video we're going to play uh, for you now, just to give you a bit of a backstory. So I'll step out of the way and let you see the video. Turning red and I don't know 
Modern day Royal Enfield has a long history in cruisers. We had the cruiser in the 90s, which actually catered to that peak Americana, and it was inspired by that. But subsequently, what happened was we learned. We learned a lot about our consumers, what they actually use, what they like, what they don't, and then that idea evolved into the Lightning, and then the Thunderbird. They are all a uh, yes, sort of a cruiser, which which is not a full thoroughbred cruiser, but it actually gave more and more experience to us about what consumer is wanting for a long distance ride. Royal Enfield have got a, a rich heritage in, in this space. So the idea for doing a, a large capacity cruiser at the Super Meteor was really always there. In fact, ever since we came out with the Meteor 350, the demand for a larger cruiser has been quite obvious and that's one of the reasons we've fast tracked the super meteor So the Super Meteor project started at the same time as the twins. We always knew we wanted a range of motorcycles. Obviously, the GT and the Interceptor came first. What the success of the 650s really did, I think, is make all of us realize in the big, wide Royal Enfield ecosystem within the company and without that people are looking for a Royal Enfield take on different genres, different platforms, and that became very interesting for us with the 650s. that open our eyes to to you know, this possibility it became clear this engine was if not even best suited for this bike it just works really well in this package but outside of that virtually everything else on this bike is brand new it's an entirely new mainframe entirely new suspension geometry bodywork is brand new tank side panels swinging arm we've gone for upside down forks for the first time on, on a royal enfield and that very first led headlight everything on the bike really is as say from a clean sheet of paper it's, it's brand new so when they came to cruising royal enfield you know incredible design and development they were able to distill exactly which parts of royal enfield's dna will really build on a certain
the Super Meteor 650 from the Royal Enfield family. Congratulations. Congratulations. Okay, so yeah, this is our brand new Super Meteor 650 and we are super proud of it. Um, essentially, we've, we've gone for something that is an archetypical cruiser, something that embodies everything about the genre. So um, the style, the proportion, the design team, Adrian Sellers and the team worked really hard to get that absolutely archetypical cruiser look and feel and stance and proportion. But it had to be a Royal Enfield and so we also worked very hard to incorporate some really key Royal Enfield design cues. Um, so, you know, things like if you look at this, this rising line that we talked about in the video, so this, this design cue that goes all the way back to our bullet, all the way back to the, to the uh, late 1940s, this, this shape of the frame that comes down and around the back of the, the toolbox there, this, this very strong hourglass figure, the, the proportion of the bike just works. Um, and you can see, you know, the, the, uh, on the screen here, these are some of the, the, the early sketches that we did. Um, and you can see it gives that, that sense of dynamic, that sense of, of motion and moving forward right from the start. Um, and I think that's given the bike, the overall bike, a, a real sense of purpose and of, of stance that works really well. Um, the vehicle de development team, uh, the, or the, the vehicle dynamics team, put a, a huge amount of work into to making sure that this bike is an easy bike to ride. So uh, our chief test rider, Paul Young, a lot of time and effort into to making sure that the, the bike handles and responds and is neutral and natural and easy to ride. And it's, it's a surprisingly easy motorcycle to get on and ride. It feels as easy to ride as our Interceptor or, or our other bikes. Talking through some of the design details on here, um, we've got some, some, some really nice premium quality design details. So for example, we've spent a lot of time on these switch cubes. These are a cast aluminium switch cube. Um, with a really beautiful finish and that's taken a lot of time to get that right and to get the quality there. Um, and you can see how that runs all the way through the component parts, the triple trees, the, the riser clouds, the mudguard uh, front part, all fit together and, and, and just work nicely together. Um, details like the badging, you know, we've put a lot of time in, in developing things like the badging and, and just all the way through that the quality the bike uses through. We've got uh, upside down, Forks for the first time in Royal Enfield, we've worked very hard with the supplier um, to develop those and, and, and it really comes through when you ride the bike, you feel the quality of the ride, you feel the, the, the responsiveness of the bike, that comes through really strongly. We've got our very first LED at the front here, first LED headlight, uh, LED indicators and tail light. There's a tripper pot up there, um, so for navigation purposes you can stick your phone in your pocket, plug in your USB cable under the side panel and away you go, you don't need to worry about where you go in, you just, you've got simple directions there um, but everywhere you look on the bike the detailing is rich and, 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 and works very well on the engine um, ooh, on the engine uh, as mentioned in, in the film um, it's our, our tried and tested parallel swing and that works really well for a cruiser it's got uh, 80 percent uh, uh, of the torque at two and a half thousand rpm so really from low down it's got that Lovely torquey wave that you can pick up and ride through. It's got that butter smooth gear change and it just suits a cruiser. It really works well in this bike. We've played a little bit with the mapping and the gearing just to make it more suitable for the bike. There's some small architectural changes to the engine to make it work with the frame. But other than that, if you're familiar with our, our swing, then you'll be familiar with this and it just makes the, the, the perfect engine for the bike. So I'm going to pass over to Gobin now. Gobin's going to talk a little bit about the, the, the different propositions. The motorcycle is available in two different propositions, uh, the Super Meteor 650 and the Super Meteor 650 Tourer. Uh, totally, there are going to be seven colorways, uh, of which three colorways which are given here, the interstellar green, celestial red, and the astral black, and four more colors. Uh, the motorcycle will be available from spring 2023 uh, across the Europe for the delivery to the consumers. Uh, we have the well-engineered, tested, homologated, all the accessories which are fitted into these motorcycles like fly screen, handlebar, fog lamps, engine guard, seats, backrest and pannier. So Air Super Meteor can actually be loaded with all these accessories, can be a grand tourer. Uh, that's the Super Meteor 650 from Royal Enfield. So over to Sid to add the closing remarks on the entire launch.
I never really took myself for a cruiser guy, but in the last few years, riding the prototypes of the Super Meteor, and uh, I've, I think I've been transformed a bit. For me, this is an extremely refined motorcycle. When you ride it, the throttle response, when you, and it, you know, when, of course, it's meant for straight roads, it does really well. But when you actually lean in, it, it feels absolutely natural, absolutely amazing. It's, it's got a full foot forward control, yet it's super agile. And, and to me, the, the form, the shape is absolutely gorgeous. As Mark said, we've really put a lot of effort into every little bit. So please come and have a look at this motorcycle. And I think this will make a cruiser ride out of me. It's, it's absolutely fascinating. And, and really, for us, we really believe that there is nothing, absolutely nothing, like this available in middleweight motorcycles. Such a refined, such a gorgeous and capable uh, cruiser motorcycle. So thank you all very much for coming. It's been an absolute pleasure having you here. Please come and have a look at the motorcycles. Thank you.